What's up everybody, my name is Black Wolf. welcome back to another video, and I apologize if I sound a little tired, it's been a heck of a day, but hey, I'm here, you're here, we're here, and we're back with some more Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, and I want to see if I could change some things up this video. So we normally been keeping up with the campaign, right? And I noticed that the next mission... It doesn't really tell us yet, but the next mission, I do know, is all the way in Boston. But before we head that, I want to see if we could do some homestead missions. We have one right in front of us, and then we have one over here. Do I know what they are? Probably not. And then we have this peg leg mission over here. I probably want to... Oh, no. <laughs> My thumbstick went up a little bit. I hope I'm not getting stick drift. That's horrible. <laughs> And then a peg leg mission over here. I want to see if I could try that out if we have some time. So, yeah. I think that's what we're going to be doing today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below. Tell me what you think. What would, you, what would your favorite part of the mission be? Let me know at the end of the video. And then smash that like button. All the support. It just means a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to see some more videos of either Assassin's Creed 3 or Assassin's Creed Liberations or any other video. I, I, it means a lot. So, uh... So we're already here. I'm guessing we're going to have to talk to Achilles for this homestead mission. I wonder what it would be. Achilles, I'm home. Okay. To craft weapons and tools, you need to gain resources and level up. Okay. See? Encyclopedia of the Common Man. See? See? Homestead missions. I'm telling you. It, it, it helps. Connor. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead, a true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. Okay then, Encyclopedia of the Common Man. Hold LT to analyze inhabitants and add information on them to the encyclopedia. Okay. Oh, the encyclopedia is right here. Accounting book. Oh, this thing. I still don't know what this thing. To craft weapons and tools, you must have gained resources. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Still confused about that. Uh, so that seemed to be pretty simple. Is there any other missions? Yeah, you still have this one over here, so we could just go ahead and head over there. I have a horse now. I'm glad about that. Got a horse in the last mission. Well, the last couple missions. So you go fast walk like that, and then you run like that. Yeah. I did a, uh, hold up. There we go. There we go. Holy moly. Running in pretty quick. Dang, you're huge. Can I, can I mount? Oh, pressing the wrong button. So a couple days ago, I did a, uh, a Odyssey video. And I realized how horrible it is. Well, I wouldn't say necessarily horrible. But it was uh, pretty much, I got so used to the Assassin's Creed 3 and Liberation controls, I was doing everything backwards. And... Uh, being that RT is run in Assassin's Creed 3, it is not in Odyssey. I should have remembered that. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Probably not going to be... Oh, uh, there we go. I was about to say, probably not going to be able to cross the river with a horse. I really like the horse so far. Nice brown. Blue saddle, pretty much. See if we can just spur this up. Dang, this horse speeds up. Seems to be up there. Is it literally floating? Do I have to go up in the trees or something? Oh, it's up on like a cliff. I see how it is. Well, I see a couple cracks I could climb up. Yeah, I see a couple cracks I could climb up. Yeah, there we go. Much easier. Like, look at how this dude... No, I don't even... No. Oh. 
Oh, dang. <laughs> what in God's name is going on around here? Anyone? Hold up. Hold up. Give me a second. Let me, uh, equip myself a little bit here. That's good. Yep, I'm good. You know what? You know what? I don't like you. Or you. Come here. Stop hitting me. Dang, it won't even let me... There we go. Ow. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't like you. So die. I don't like you either. You could die too. That did not go as planned, but it happened. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. Lane. Lance Woodworker can now craft at level 1 goods. That simple, eh? Nice. The Whittler's Weapons. House party I got. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I want to talk to this guy real quick, can we? Or is it like crafting weapons a... Okay, so it's saying that we can talk to him. At least on the mini-map, it's saying follow him or something. What is it, like a... <laughs> a inventory thing or something? Godfrey. Oh, another homestead mission. That's nice. Oh, they're the woodworkers. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this second homestead mission. I think we should probably do, like, at least three homestead missions. Before we do something else. If we have the time for that. Oh, what am I stuck on? Just some rocks. Okay, so... We got the woodworking down. Then we have wood craftsmen. I wonder what the next one would probably be. Who's this? Some random person? Okay, let's see over here. Looks like someone might need our help. Probably something that. Can you help me? Yes, yes, I can. Silent Hunter. All right. Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What of the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. 
Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Ah, uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I made my life out here ever since. And living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Connor, my boy, a womanizer. <laughs> hey, look, there's Achilles. He's probably meeting us at the door. He probably saw us, you know, just staring out the window, watching us walk up with some woman in our arms. <laughs> Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. See? See? I told you doing a homestead mission was a smart idea. I haven't used the rope dart yet. We just got that. It... <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Climb up to the tree and stand and tree stand and scan the area. Okay, seems simple. Can we get up a tree somewhere? We can there, but I don't see how we could get anywhere else. So we could probably jump through there. Yeah, no. Too much trouble. Oh, it's right here. Duh. There we go. Much easy. Should be able to get to the tree stand a lot easier now. Oh, see some marks already up the minimap. Pretty simple. So the woke dart is already attached. That's nice. So we could probably get this is. Oh, please tell me this is what I think it. Is. Yes. Yeet. Ooh. I think I think I know how I could kill the last guy. This is similar to something uh, I ended up. So in Assassin's Creed Liberations, you could actually do the same thing with the whip, and I didn't even realize that until. Uh, after everything. So. Yeah, see, it's already saying that. Push forward to hang your target. Um, is that guy in the middle open? I think that guy's in the wide open, so that's what I'm going to do here. Yeet! Look at this dude! Look at this dude! Ouch! Hey, it only took. Look at the look at the rope dart at the end. I had three, and now it says I had two. So if you hang somebody, it gets rid of a rope dart. But if you just simply strangle them, you're fine. I could probably just get this guy with like a a bow if I wanted to. Like, if I really wanted to. But I don't. Better. Oh, two more? Come on, come on, we could get it. Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell Lumberin will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and timber? Oh no, don't much care neither. Feet skulking around these woods. Something don't feel right. <laughs> Feeling a bit guilty on account of that woman you put a hold in? Nah, nah. She had a company. What's she dressed like that for anyway? It's not natural. 
They're literally taking circles. They're walking circles. But that's fine. One of them's gonna be hanging anyway. I hear a wolf. Let's get the last the guy in the back. Oh the other guy just stopped. Easy. Brutal, dude. Okay, so I want to get out of here before the wolf comes back. Hey, it's a horse. It's a different horse each time. Hey! Where are you, fellas? Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I think... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. So that sounds like a smart idea? But it might be the worst thing he probably could do. He might come, they might have like grudges and come back with... And bunches. See if we could. No, probably not. Oh wait, no, we might. If we could tree run all the way there. Let's see here. So far, so good. Only 50 meters to go. Oh yeah. So pretty much. That's, that's nice. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. Miriam, Huntress, can now produce level 1 goods. Nice. I like it. New weapons and firearms can be acquired by either purchasing or... Darn it. I <laughs> didn't get to read it in time. Okay, so that seemed to be pretty easy. Am I, what am I doing wrong? Okay. So that seemed pretty good. Um, I don't see any more homestead missions, which should be okay. That means we could probably have time to... Head over peg leg trinket. All right then. What what's this? Oh, that's a frontier. Uh, this Lance Homestead, and this is Miriam. Miriam, yeah, yes. So I wonder what the whole you got the docks, the harbor master. I wonder what that'd be. That'd probably be like go out and get supplies or something like that. But we should be able to go ahead and. Talk to Pegleg. Why is it that we have a different horse than last time? At least I think it's a different horse. Oh, come on, people. Always getting stuck on rocks. I guess these... Wow! I guess these horses don't know how to go down two feet. Uh, steep. Wow, that was amazing. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was like an elk in the background. Place sounds so nice. Wow, it's so simple just traveling around this area. More elk up in the background. There's peg leg. So the captain said a while, a couple of videos ago, that if we talk to Pegleg, he might talk our ears off. I take it as if he's just got a lot of stories to tell, and I do enjoy stories. Hello, Mrs. Pegleg. Do what do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of, 
What are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewheres and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. Okay, then. Find one trinket and then go back to Peg Leg. So we just pointed out those trinkets. And there's one right there, so it should be pretty simple. Right close by. Where is it? I guess uh, there it is. See, it just pops up and then disappears for a second. That's fine. It's not too far away, though. That's nice. Noise, noise. I guarantee they intentionally added it this close. That way we get the opportunity to mess with it for a little bit. With no... Oh, <laughs> I pressed A. I pressed Y. <laughs> Rip. Oh, wait, no. I can skin it. That's what it's saying, right? Yes. Yeah, well. Yama. It's like a little peace and thank you to nature. I like that. Ah, a little trinket. I wonder what it is. Just a box standing right out in the open. Homestead, four trinkets found. Go back and talk to Pegleg. Okay. Trinkets, home. Okay. So there's four trinkets here in the homestead. And we already pointed out two earlier. So. Oh, there is a last. Okay. Right. Okay. So. It seems to be that there's trinkets in each little section. Yeah, trinkets in the frontier, trinkets in the homestead, trinkets in Boston. Because it emphasized how many there were here in the homestead. Hello, Pele, got your trinket. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. Last word a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. I will be back for the rest. What? Where's where's the letter? Oh, here we go. Holy moly, this is a... Actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Lucky Lem, I wrote you this script from the North Atlantic, having sailed here aboard my sloop. Where the king's lammies are hot on my trail. I trust in the adventure prize remains safe, but I rest assured it is in the best of hands. Yours. I have always trusted you as one of my most loyal and faithful men, and that is why I now send you this scroll. I feel like this is a fake letter. I feel like this is a fake letter. <laughs> it is of the utmost importance that you do not open it as it could mean my life carry it with you always never give it to a soul no matter what the price offered and believe whatever that cost might be i will double it when you when i find you i do not know when i'll be free of these varlets but they will not catch me people very well may come looking for my scroll trust no one. Heed my warnings, Captain William Kidd. So it seems pretty realistic there at the end, William Kidd. Captain William Kidd. So, I mean, it might be real. But I don't know. I don't know. Something's fishy about it. Something's fishy about this. <laughs> Newspaper. What we got here? Oh, yeah, the Boston Massacre. Boss Massacre on King Street. Doubtless to our readers... Well, know that on the evening of Monday last, the squadron of soldiers formed before the custom house fired into a crowd of citizens, killing four and wounding many. Our readers will expect a cir uh, circumstantial uh, account of their uh, strategical affair, but we hope they will excuse our being particularly cautious as we should be. Had we not seen that the town was intending an inquiry in full 
representation thereof. However, some few facts appear to be unstablished. Following upon the altercation between some lads of the town and a single posted guard at the custom house, an increasing number of citizens came to that place and with heat shouted down the guard. In like manner, a large group of citizens gathered in King Street. Captain Thomas Preston perceived from the main guardhouse. His soldier in distress and left the main guard in a party of men with charged bayonets. The soldiers came, pushing their bayonets, crying, make way. They took place at the custom house and continuing to push and drive the people off pricked some in several ways, on which they were clamorous, and it said, through snow, balls, and perhaps portions of ice, the crowd taunting the soldiers, shouting, Fire! You dare not fire! On this and more snowballs coming, someone cried out, Damn you, fire! One soldier then fired, and the townsmen with a cudgel struck him over the hands with such force that he dropped his firelock, and, rushing forward, aimed a blow at the captain's head, which grazed his hat and fell pretty heavy upon his arms. However, the soldiers continued the fire successfully till seven or eight, or, as some say, eleven guns were discharged. By this fatal maneuver, three men were laid dead, and on the spot, and two more struggling for life, but what showed a degree of cruelty unknown to British troops, at least since the House of Hanover, was directed their operation, was an attempt to fire pod or push their bayonets, the persons who undertook to remove the slain and wounded. The dead are Mr. Samuel Gray, killed on the spot, the ball entering his head and beating off a large portion of his skull. Shit. A man, lato man named Crispus, Atux, also killed instantly, two balls entering his breasts, one of them in special goring the right lobe of the lungs, and a great part of the liver mostly horrible. Mr. James Codwell, mate of Captain Morton's vessel, in like manner killed by two balls entering his back. Mr. Samuel Maverick, a promising youth of 17 years of age, holy moly, son of the widow Maverick, and an apprentice to Mr. Greenwood, Ivory Turner. A ball went through his belly and was cut out of his back. He died the next morning. Darn. Mr. Patrick Carr, Patrick Carr, about 30 years of age, who worked with Mr. Field, leather breeches maker, in Queen Street, wounded, a ball entered near his hip and went out his side, apprehended when he will die. A several and several others requiring surgery, suffering loss of blood, shattered bones, and lodged musket balls. Governor Hitchson has exerted himself in an effort to quell the town. He has ordered the arrest of said Captain Preston as well as the soldiers involved until such time as an investigation and general ordering of the facts can be made. Well, that is a very nice thing. I like how they add those newsletters. That that was very nice. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> well, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, wow, it was, it was a fun one. Being able to do those homestead missions, I knew they, it was a smart idea to do them. We were able to uh, use the rope dart and everything. It was f freaking nice. It was amazing. I really liked that. Being able to talk to Peg Leg, being able to read that letter, and then noticing the news uh, newspaper. Of course, the newspaper popped up on my screen during the Boston Massacre, but I didn't even bother reading it at the time. But 
Wow, I enjoyed it. It was very interesting, and I enjoy the story they Ubisoft decides to tell in these Assassin's Creed games. But I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, comment down below. Tell me what was your favorite part of the entire video. Smash that like button if you really enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to keep up to date with all my videos and all my uploads. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then... I'll see you guys then.